For the fourth year in a row, Tamika DeRozan, the owner of Illuminating Styles Hair Salon and Barbershop, is hosting her shop's annual back-to-school drive this Sunday, July 22nd, starting at 10 a.m. The event, held at her shop located at 200 East Main Street in Waynesboro, Virginia, will give free haircuts and hairdos to any kid that will be attending grades K-12 through this upcoming school year. And she hopes to send each kid off with a new book bag full of school supplies. We give the kids free haircuts. They come, they arrive, they get a raffle ticket. So try and arrive early. You get a raffle ticket uh, for prizes that's going to be given out during the event. Um, we have um, stands set up where they can do um, various things while they are waiting. There's face painting, there's food, uh, games, there's a bouncy house. Some of those things are being donated by vendors. One of the vendors is uh, Fun Jumps Inflatables. Mr. Mike donated the bouncy house this year. DeRozan said donations are down this year compared to last year and is welcoming the community and local businesses to partner up with her and donate. The local businesses here uh, help sponsor some of the things that take place. This year, we haven't gotten a whole lot of uh, response from the public. We have gotten some. Mainly our customers, our customers rock, y'all. I gotta send a shout out to y'all. I love y'all to death. All my customers, they always help me make this possible. I asked Tamika what inspired her to start this charitable gesture, and she told me it's what they do every year in her hometown of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. This started with me years before I moved here. I uh, passed the Raymond Johnson down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He hosts the event and I was just showing up to cut hair. And when I moved here, I wanted to bring that same tradition that we do back at home. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and, and that this is what we do for the kids. We cut their hair, we get them right for school so that they can go back and be prepared. When I moved here, I, I see a lot of kids. I see a lot of kids, but I don't see a lot of preparedness. You know, those kids need to go back to school with confidence I want to look like my peers. I want to feel like my peers when I go to school. I want to be able to go. I don't want to be the only little kid sitting there, unprepared, don't have my school supplies or, you know, whatever the case is. And the other kids who got all of their stuff, they just want to come out and have fun with their friends. So parents bring all the children. We, we're not saying this is open to one group of children. This is open to any kid, kindergarten through 12th grade. We're going to try and take as many as we can. Unless something happened to make us stop, we might knock the power out over here. We cut so much hair, but if something happened to make us stop, <laughs> that will be the only way we stop. We're going to get these children done. Kids in Waynesboro, Stanton, and Augusta County school systems start back to school in the first and second weeks of August. DeRozan said several other barbershops and hair salons have pledged to send stylists and barbers to the event to make sure no kid is turned away. It wouldn't be able to be done had I not reached out to other barbers at other barber salons in the local area, uh, barber shops and beauty salons as well, because I've reached out to several cosmetologists to help with this event. The more people we have working, the quicker we can get that line going and get them out, because we have a large crowd of kids that show up for this event. So I have to thank the barbers and the beauticians that are volunteering from the local salons helping our salon host this event. These girls are volunteering their time to come in and help braid little girls' hairs because there are some little girls who don't want haircuts. They just want to look cute to go back to school. So we're trying to send the kids back to school nice. It's a group of us. It's a group effort. But we host it here every year. Donations are still needed. So if you or your organization want to be a part of this amazing and much needed charitable event, you can contact Tamika DeRozan at 434-981-4065. Or simply stop by Illuminating Styles between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. the rest of this week. We still need donations. If anybody can get more donations in, that would be great. Please bring them in so we can start sorting things out. Uh, any donation is helpful. I mean, a dollar will buy 10 notebooks. Whatever you can get, you know, we appreciate it. Breaking Through will be at the event on Sunday and will go live periodically throughout the day. With so much negative in the news nowadays, a feel-good story like this is a breath of fresh air. Yeah, we're we ready for y'all. In Waynesboro, Theodore Whitelow for Breaking Through.